I'm good, I'm fine. That's fine. How was work today? No problem. And who okay, is she? Hello, ma. Ah, this is my wife, this. Good evening, ma. This, this is Oloma. She's going to be staying with us for the meantime. Andrew, what kind of a man are you? How could you get a housemaid without my consent? What is your problem? No, Oloma is not a house help. She needs accommodation. And this house is very big and empty. I thought it wise to ask her to come and stay with us. Andrew, must you always remind me of my inability to give you a child? Oh, this house is big and empty. Empty of children, right? That is what you mean. That is not what I mean. Then tell me what you mean. Tell me what you mean. Eh? How could you bring in a girl without telling me? Eh? Does that make you a good husband? Tell me, no, leave me. Greetings, my, my friends. Where's your drink? Did you wash the glass? Yes, my prince. Oh, you can go. Thank you, my prince. Under the sun, under the rain, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me. I'll be there Cause you've got my heart You've got my heart You've got my heart In your hands Cause you've got my heart You've got my heart You've got my heart In your hands Riding your bar you foolish in another man's world Pride in your paradise Makes you ugly in this beautiful world You better be humble, 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 humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last Be humble uh. You gotta be humble, humble What are you doing here? Why have you been avoiding me? If you don't mind, I want to be left alone. Well, I cannot possibly leave you alone. 
Alpha Mayfuna, you are my betrothed. You lie. I am not your husband, and I can never, ever be your husband. Oh, really? Alpha Mayfuna. So you never thought of that when you took my womanhood away from me. You must be very stupid for saying that. Just take your miserable self out of this palace now. You know what? Everything is becoming so clearer to me now. But I will get to the root of this. You are just so unbelievable. Everybody know they talk up That everybody know get a choice up Be careful what you wish for Yeah Be mindful what you wish for Nobody know pass. Nobody get a destiny of another in hands. Nobody be God. Oh. Please consider before you decide. Oh. Remember, nobody. Good morning. How are you, Norma? I'm fine, sir. Yeah. What are you doing? I am cleaning the house, sir. I've told you to watch the way you do shots in the house. You are pregnant. And as such, you don't need to stress yourself unnecessarily. Sir, I am strong. I can do them. It is okay. Just try to get enough rest. I am off to work. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. Go. So, Andrew got a girl pregnant and brought her to this house as a maid. Young woman, what do you have with my husband? I am asking you. What do you have with my husband? Nothing, ma. I, I don't have anything with your husband, ma. Do not lie to me. I had everything. And who is responsible for that thing in your womb? Ma, I swear with my late mother's grave, I do not have anything with your husband. my hand, sit back and watch you destroy a home that have taken me 18 years to build. Is that what you think? That you can come from nowhere with that thing in your womb to destroy my marriage? I will show you how I have spent my years in the streets and how I have suffered in the hands of faith before God brought me to this home. You will see what I will do to you. Just 
Jesus Christ. So this girl left these things here. Kitchen, I was arranging things. I was going to, I was coming to tidy it before what happened. Eh? <coughs> what is your problem? Eh? I must kill you today. I will strangle you to death. I will strangle you to death. You, you must die here today. You slept. Stupid. You will die. I will make sure I kill you. Eh? Your instinct you have told you that you ought to remove this thing before any other time. What is your problem? Eh? Must I tell you everything? Come on, carry it. Useless girl! <laughs> Just look at her! <laughs> Very useless! Stupid! Senseless! Huh? Come on, carry this thing out! Oloma. Huh? Where in God's name is she? This is two weeks I abandoned my course in Canada and flew down to this country. And I'm yet to find her. I have visited her house twice and still Oloma is nowhere to be found. What is going on? I just hope nothing has happened to her and my baby. I just hope. God, please help me. Under the sun, under the rain, just call on my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got You've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart You've got my heart in your hands Just 
Mother. Greetings, my princess. How are you? Why is my princess troubled? Mother, mm -hmm. I think I'm gradually losing Prince Afam. Say school. Oh, come on, my love. You should remove such thought from your mind. Listen, Afam is your betrothed. You can lose him. Mother, he doesn't even call me. He doesn't even visit me. He avoids me like, like, like I'm a plague. <coughs> come, come, my love. Sit. Sit with me. Sit. Mm. Now listen. I can assure and reassure you that Prince Afam is yours. And yours alone. But my dad, he doesn't even call me. He doesn't pick my calls. I'm just tired. He doesn't call you? And he hasn't picked your call? No. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. He will definitely come around. That I promise. Hmm? Murder. I don't want to lose him. You will not. <laughs> it's okay. Murder. Mm -hmm. I think there is another woman. Oh, shush. Stop. I know my son. There's no other woman anywhere. There is. There is. He's acting so strange. <laughs> he will come around, I promise. Come. Come to mommy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> What happened to your face? Nothing, sir. Oloma, do not lie to me. What happened while I was away? She is leaving this house today. There is. How could you? A woman who is believing God for the fruit of the womb treat other women's children with so much wickedness. Andrew, I am not barren. That is not the case. I only ask you to treat this young girl with so much love. What love are you talking about? Please spare me that. Oloma is leaving this house this very minute, immediately. I have had enough from both of you. I do not have anywhere to go, please. Please don't send me away, please. I have nowhere to go to, please, ma'am. Please, I'm begging you, please. Does it look like I care? 
I don't care. If you like, have where to go. If you don't like, you can sleep under the bridge. I don't give a damn. Go upstairs, girl. Let us go to your room. You are going to put everything that belongs to you and out of this house now. No! Don't beg me! Get! I said get up! Let us go to your room for you to pick what belongs to you. Get up! Get up! Get up. Go, 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 go! Let us go! You are going to pack your things. I understand that you have been avoiding your betrothed, Princess Clara. May I know why? Princess Clara has been disturbing me lately. And if there's something I dislike so much, it's disturbance. I hate someone choking me and um, making me feel uncomfortable. And when has a fiancé looking at her fiancés will become bargain. Well, Mom, I, I just don't like Princess Clara. That's the whole truth. What? Afam, did I hear you right? Mom, you heard me clearly. I don't like her. I don't love her. That girl is too aggressive. She's not respectful. I don't like her. Okay, I can't settle down with someone I don't have feelings for. Afamifna, to see you marry Princess Clara was your late father's dying wish. Well, Mom, let's forget about uh, dead man's wish. Let's face the reality. Okay, my late father cannot, cannot choose an arrogant girl for me to marry. It's uncalled for. Royalty marries Royalty. Royalty or not royalty, I am not getting married to Princess Clara. She doesn't give me peace of mind. Every man wants who gives him peace of mind. I know Loma is a perfect woman for me. Excuse me. Why are you bugging my brother over Clara? Quiet, young woman. I didn't ask for your opinion. Mother, please, I beg you. He is old enough to know what he wants. Just allow him to make his choice. What now? Don't dare.
makes you foolish in another man's world. Bride in your paradise makes you ugly in this beautiful world. You better be humble, humble, humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble. You gotta be humble, 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 humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble. Oh yeah. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble now. Life is fluid. Nothing stays the same. Change is permanent. Nothing stays the same. Daisy, what is it again? What is your problem? You are wrecked emotionally. You are no more the beautiful queen I married. You keep bothering yourself over our childlessness. What is the problem? Am I complaining? Tessie. Your inability to have a child cannot quench my love for you. You are still my Tessie, the one I loved so much. Come to me, my queen. Oh, my pretty queen. What is the problem? Please come to me. Yeah, come on. Under the sun, under the rain, just call on my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Cause you've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Where is Oloma and my unborn baby? This is the third time I've gone to Isubu Kingdom in search of her. Where is she? Huh? I really miss her. Where in God's name can I find her? Where? How can she disappear like that? He left in a mess as if rushing for something very important. My son is totally withdrawn from everybody and everything that has to do with the advancement of this royal palace and... Mother, I really pity my brother. I mean, he has not been himself since he abandoned his cause in Canada, down to here. That shows that what brought him down here is very important and dear to him. Oh, oh, here he comes. Oh. Where have you been since morning? My friends, you are welcome. Thank you. My friends, you kept us so worried and you look worn out. Should I get something for you? If you can, please. Okay. I'll be back shortly. 
a formation. You left this palace as early as 6 a.m. and you are returning back now. May I know why? I cannot find Uloma and my unborn child. I have searched everywhere for her, but she's nowhere to be found. Wait, are you saying you left this palace in search of that classless thing? That classless thing has my child, and I must find them. I see. So, that daughter of a nobody is the reason behind his actions. I see. For me, Funa. You will never marry that maiden. Not when I'm still alive. Never. The work always done, Yeah. Dr. Richard, I understand that my wife has been visiting your hospital lately. Is there something I should know? Well, Mr. Andrew, as a medical doctor, you should be able to understand that um, there are things against the ethics of our profession. So I'm um, really sorry I can't answer your question. Dr. Richard, is everything okay with my wife? Well, like I said earlier... I'll call you back, please. I'm in a meeting, okay? I'm sorry about that. Well, like I said earlier, I suggest you go home and talk to her yourself. I think that should be better. It's okay. Fine, okay. I'll be fine. Sorry. Sorry. Fine, okay? You'll be fine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Abigail, sister, what's wrong with her? Malaria. How long now? It started today, but she will be fine. I've given her drugs. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, Auntie. Um, sister, sit down now. I'm fine. Okay. Mama, mm -hmm. you'll be fine, okay? <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry, sorry. 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 Hi. Sorry, no, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. Abigail. Sister. What if what if that girl dies in this house? God forbid. Nothing will happen to her, sister. Sister, it's not like that. I just want to help this girl. She has no one, no place to go to. Is she from the orphanage? No, she's not from the orphanage. But her parents are late. Then let her go to her relatives. Or are you now one of them? Sister, I'm not. I'm just helping a less privileged. Look, Abigail. If anything happens to that girl in this house, count me out. You get that? Pride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world Pride in your paradise Makes you ugly in this beautiful world you better be humble, 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 humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble. Uh -huh. You gotta be humble, 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 humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble, be humble now Life is fluid, nothing stays the same Change is permanent, nothing stays the same While you can't predict tomorrow You cannot give what you do not have Every action has its consequence your legs can take you places, but it's character that will keep you there. Every action has its consequence, and it's true, nobody knows tomorrow. Slow it down, cause nobody knows tomorrow. Oh yeah, pride in your paradise, in your paradise makes you foolish. In another man's world Why is he not picking my oh, yeah, clothes? Pride in your paradise Makes you ugly In this beautiful world In this beautiful world You better be humble humble, 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 humble You're not the first You won't be the last oh, yeah. Be humble uh -huh. Be humble You gotta be humble Humble, humble, humble. Fast, you won't be the last to humble, be humble. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it's not how long, oh, yeah, but how well has it been? How good can it be? Will you make me mad for no reason? Oh, yeah, can I depend on you? Oh, oh. Pride in your paradise Makes you foolish in another man's world Pride in your paradise Slow it down, slow it down In 
this beautiful world Nobody knows you're humble, 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 humble You're not the first, you won't be the last Be humble Afamifuna What type of insult is this on me? The princess of Isyubu Kingdom This is a royal insult, and you must pay for it. Nobody know pass. Nobody get a destiny of another in hands. Nobody be God. Oh. Please consider before you decide. Oh. Remember, nobody has it all. Enjoying yourself. How are you? I'm fine. Do you need a seat? No, don't worry. Mother. Yes, there. Please. There is something very important I want us to talk about. Important? Yes. Okay. Then let me go. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let me come close to you. <laughs> is alright? Mother, yes dear. Please, I beg you in the name of our girls, allow my brother to make his choice. Please, mother. Never. Prince Afamifuna can never marry that gold digger. The Igwe, your late father and I made the right choice for him. And that is Princess Clara, the princess of Isugo Kingdom. But you know my brother does not love her. Mother. Trying to force him on her will be suicidal. Please, I mother. I will force her on him. He must marry her. He can't abandon her after taking the pride of her womanhood. Yes. She confided in me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So she went as far as telling you that? No. She is not matured enough. Call it whatever you like. All I know is that Prince Afamefuna is going to marry the princess of Isugo kingdom and that is QAD. He doesn't like her, he doesn't love her, yet he slept with her. You're a woman. So think about that. Excuse me. You don't want a woman. You took everything. Does he know what the pride of a woman means? Take it away from her now. You want to abandon her. A princess. Where do you think you're going? In search of Uloma. Leave this palace and I will disown you. You know, as the future king of this kingdom, I don't succumb to threats. Leave this palace and I will tell you that I formed you in my womb and gave way for you to have life. That's exactly why you see me taking the chill pill and trying not to be up in the heel. Because you're my mother. I'm all about Uloma and my unborn child's whereabouts, and nothing else matters. You abandoned your curse in Canada and came back in search of a low class. <laughs> that low class is going to be the future queen of this kingdom. Never. Not in my time. 
You know me as mother. But there are more to queen. Don't tell me. Okay then, we'll see to that. Let's see how you achieve that. Under the sun, under the rain, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got... You're carrying. Answer me! I'm talking to you, answer me before I rip your butt! Answer me this minute! Ulema, come here. Come before me right now! She's going nowhere. Ulema, stay here. How dare you disobey me? Who do you think you are? Who is this mannerless imp? I will pretend I did not hear your insult. Oh yes, you heard me. And you, you shameless, dirty, looking thing, come before my royal presence this minute. And I said, she's going nowhere. Who do you think you are? Do you think this, this, this is your father's palace? Where you order maids and, and guards around? Well, am I, you're going nowhere. For your information, this is Umuchi kingdom, not Isyugu. Uloma. Uloma, you stabbed me. You betrayed me. You were my favorite maiden. Uloma, you break and open you. Take this. Lay yourself in my man's picture. Uloma, of all the classless, dating looking men of your caliber, why did you choose from them? Why, my man? Why? Uloma, you betrayed the royal household. And for this, I'm gonna lay a curse on you. Uloma, you should Wait, Uloma, stop it! Just stop it! It was because of your arrogance that the prince left you. Don't you dare! Don't you dare in your entire life raise your feet hands on me! Do I look like one of your maidens? Do I look like Uloma? Are you mad? The next time you try this, I will show you the stuff I'm made of! Get your filthy ass off me! How dare you? How dare you squeeze my hand? How dare you? Princess, my fools! Loma, let's go. Loma! Loma! Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Princess, my fools. Pride in your paradise makes you foolish in another man's world. Pride in your paradise makes you ugly in this beautiful world. You better be humble, humble, humble. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Be humble. What nonsense! Who does she think she is? Princess, my fools! She should go and look for her husband. How can a whole princess be forcing herself on a man who doesn't want her? Come to think of it, which same man will want to get married to a naughty girl like her? Abigail, it's okay. Can you at least calm down? I don't like her. She's just too bossy for my liking. We are home now. Can you at least let the princess be? Please. It's fine. How are you? As you can see, I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay. Okay.
God, where do I go in search of my daughter? I have visited the nanny I left my daughter in her care. The story was she has packed out many years ago. What do I do? That I am not my own late father's child? <sighs> Wicked uncles. They should come and tell me whose daughter am I then? They didn't come and drive me out of this house. Finally here. Probably to come and chase me out from my own father's house. <sighs> Uncle, um, what do I own this for sex? How may I be of help? Listen, the question should be. How may we be of help to you? Because you're not from this family. <laughs> I can see that you both does not have anything meaningful to say. Please, if you don't have anything to say, then I should go back to my room and complete what I was doing. Not so soon, young woman. We are here to ask you to leave this house. Uncle, I don't get it. You don't get what? Listen, our late brother had no child while he was alive. So you better leave. Lies. You pathetic liar. George is not lying. Our late brother Peter and his wife had no child when he was alive. Uncle, even you? How can a man like you? Bash into my late father's house to tell me about my true paternity. Just a few weeks after my late parents' burial, as a result of the fatal accident. And you both are already here, claiming his properties. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, you've heard what my brother said. Simple. You're not from this family. You're not part of us and you will never be. Please leave. Okay then, we'll see to that. You have to come and drag me out to yourself because I am not going anywhere. So it has gotten to this, eh? You've grown wide, eh? Okay, we shall see. I got one. to do is to throw me out from this house and then take everything that my father has worked for. <gasps> they want to take the 
house, the cars, and all his property. I refuse to bow. And who said that a female child should be relegated to background? I refuse to vouch. I will never, I will never leave this house. Never. Period. I will not. so beautiful. I like your hair. Hmm. Even this your clothes is very fine. Look at your leg, very smooth and fresh. What happened? What is it? Teresa, just relax. Don't you have a boyfriend? Have you not done it before? Done what? Relax, let me just do once. Only once. Yeah? Just once. I'd rather die than to have you have your way. <laughs> Never. Yeah? Are you serious? Then let's see. Uncle George! Uncle George! Uncle George! Somebody help! Uncle George! Uncle George! Chai, 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 speak, man! This little rat, you hit my scrotum! Visitor, you know. Hmm. So what up? I'm cool, bro. Did I touch you? No, no, no. Don't be scared. Come this side. No. Turn around. Turn around. Anthony. Shh. Now come to daddy. Hug daddy. You're not romantic, why? I said you should hug daddy. Wow. 
I'm looking so sweet. Where are you? So please, I'm a virgin. I've not done it before, please. Oh. She said she's a virgin. Please, I've not done it before, please. You're a virgin. Please, I've not done it before, please. We're also, we also virgin. We're oh, virgin too. Oh. Now, go and lie down. You enjoy there. it. No, please. You just virgin me, I just virgin you. Please, so please, so oh, please. You said? Where are you? You want me to come here to salad? No. Huh? Lie down. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Lie down. Yes, ma. Open that gate immediately. Okay, ma. Desperate to see my daughter before I die. My instinct tells me that she is still alive. I feel it within me. She is alive. But how do I see her? How do I meet her? Oh God, oh, how do I do this? Eh? How do I do it? How? Where do I see her? God, help me. Eh? Help me, God, please help me. Oh. Again, what are you doing here? Good day. Good day. I I came to check whether you have seen the nanny around. But I told you, I don't know anybody. I don't know any nanny. I told you, and I called my mom. She said she doesn't know any nanny. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. But in case if you see her.
Where have you been all day? Fanjo, please stop pestering my life. I don't have the strength to talk to anyone. I beg. You called my question pestering? You left here this morning. Coming back this late at night. Keeping me worried all day. And you said I'm pestering you. For crying out loud, please leave my life alone. Rap on Omaaka, allow me to be. Eh? How do you want me to put it to you? What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. I am okay. The only problem I have now is you. You are disturbing my life. Just let me be. Can't you understand simple English? Let me be. Here. Teresa, where is the smiling part of your face? What is eating you up? Andrew, nothing is eating me up. I am okay. Rap no more. Let me let, let me rest. I just came in now. I deserve to rest. Teresa, you are pushing me too far. No, you are pushing me too far. Eh? Beat me up? Okay, Andrew, go and see me. Beat me up! Beat me up! Eh? Oh, you want to send me packing? Go ahead and send me packing. Your mistress is pregnant for you. So what do you want me for? I am of no use to you. Go ahead now. Why are you keeping quiet? Ah! I came in here, you keep on disturbing me with one question or the other. What is your problem? Let me be, because... Won't someone have rest in this house again? What can we go? What do you allow me to be? Huh? It is is all this. <laughs> Your case is becoming a psychiatric one, Teresa. I know what to do. I know what to do. So can you believe that Ephraim has been around for quite some time? Oh yes! He abandoned his cause in Canada after being a whooping sum of money in foreign currency and came back for reason best known to him. Can you beat that? Please, it would be my pleasure if you could come and speak with him. All right. That's okay. I'll be counting on you. All right. Bye-bye. Prince is around and he never called. No visitors in the house. 
Don't want them. That is what I am talking about. I don't know what has become of my son. He will leave the palace in the morning and return at dusk. My queen, are you sure everything is okay with him? Talk out, I know when he's not telling me anything. Then I'll talk to him myself to ascertain what the problem is. Please do. That is the reason I summoned you. Can I talk to him now? Who? Prince, of course. He's not in the palace as we speak. In that case, I will call him upon. It's all right. I'll be counting on you. There's no problem, my queen. How about uh, Princess? She drove us from hours ago. Okay. Mm. It's all right. Yeah. Don't bother. Pardon my manners. What do I offer you? Oh. Oh, my queen, forget about that. I will be driving straight to the office. I have some emergency. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah no problem. It's all right. It's okay. Thanks for your time. When love is built on bricks of sorrow When love is fed on bread of sorrow Let it be Just let it be This love I see Just let it be You can't stop the rain Just let it be Oh, you can't stop the sun Just let it be 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 When love is built on bricks of sorrow Hey, Ross, I don't understand what is going on. What is stopping you people from taking her to the labor room for delivery? Madam, don't worry. In a short while, we'll attend to her. She'll Just be fine. hurry up now. Hurry up. She's in pain. Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. You'll be fine. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Hey. Sorry. 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 Oh. Sorry. 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 Something came up. Something like what, my prince? 
My mother called to, to tell me that my fiance is pregnant for me. Wow! So Princess Olivia is already pregnant. Oh no, Uncle, it's not it's not Princess Olivia. Um, I'm talking of Oloma. You see, Oloma is a certain maiden I, I met in his Yubu kingdom. So since I got back, I've been looking for her everywhere. And I haven't set my eyes on her. So um so since I I came back, she has been. You mean to... Oloma from Isugu Kingdom? Yes. Yes. My prince, there is a girl here from Isugu Kingdom who was rushed to this hospital yesterday due to complications in her pregnancy. Really? Yeah. Just come and see. After you left this Yubu kingdom, I tried every means to reach you with the address you gave to me. After every effort to reach you on the phone, failed. When I got to your palace, Sorry you passed through all of that. I came back immediately. I heard you were pregnant and came looking for me. I've been searching everywhere for you. I've gone to East Hugo Kingdom severally. It was one of my visits that I learned that your mother died of asthma. I've been looking for you. Everywhere. Finally, the Duchess got to be with God. She suffered the lots of an asthmatic patient. I grew up watching her every day go through such torture. My nanny had to go be with the Lord. <laughs> she was never your mother? But she told me everything I needed to know about my paternity. She told me how a 15 year old teenager abandoned me in her care. In Enugu and run away. I do not know who my real mother is. I've never set my eyes on her. I don't even know if she's alive or dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. What the hell are those two? So, honey, how was work today? Well, everything is okay. Everything is okay. Darling, this world is a small world. Of course. Full of mystery. What happened? Do you know Prince Alfam is responsible for Lama's pregnancy? You mean our own Prince Alfam? Yes. <laughs> Prince Alfam. What a world. Hey. Oloma was abandoned at Enugu by a 15-year-old teenager in the house of one nanny called Grace. Grace. Yes, Grace, what is it? Did you say Grace? Yes. What is it? Or a child, I demand to know what is wrong with my wife. But I remember I told you to go home and ask her yourself. So why coming back to me and asking what is wrong with her again? Dr. Richard, I am a doctor just like you. I have every right to know what is wrong with my wife. Can I have her time? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Dr. Andrew. Because what you're asking for is against the ethics of our profession and you know that. is dying and I'm very sure you will not be happy if my wife dies. Please do justice to my request. I beg you. Show. 
matters i have found oloma and that is my greatest problem and my greatest fear now all of that has been conquered okay <laughs> nothing else matters really i really have to break this news to your majesty hmm? her majesty must hear this let everybody know philosophical, moral messages that this place broadcast in antiquity are still as relevant today. Above the entrance of the temple, where the people went in to consult the oracle, were written two phrases. Oh, mother. Gnosis seat. Gnosis seat. I'm coming from your brother's room. There's nowhere to be found. Where's the prince? Mother, I don't know his whereabouts. Obinze! Obinze! That's my queen. Where's my son? He drove him a while ago. Fetch him. That's my queen. Under the sun, under the moon, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the season, my prince, just reach out for the queen me, demands your presence at once. Baby, the center, Tell her I'm going to join her shortly. Yes, my prince. Princess, mother, I am bothered. You are bothered? I don't know why your brother is not indicating any interest in paying the princess bride price. Did he discuss anything with you? Oh, mother, it is obvious. Or are you not seeing it? Saying what? That my brother does not love her that much to make her his wife. Yes, mother. Time is running out. He needs to pick a wife so that he can ascend his forefather's throne. The throne is vacant. Anyway, what are you watching? I'm seeing a movie. <laughs> oh, curiosity. <laughs> wow, I would love to watch. You enjoy it? Really? When I'm coming. Yeah, it's alright. Hmm. Well, I you like it. Hmm. <laughs> Where's my son? He'll be with you soon.
Mother. My prince. You sent for me. Sit. I for me for now. Why have you not declared interest in making Clara your bride? Mom, are we still on this? I don't get it. I have told you countless times that I do not love Princess Clara. May I know why? Please, Mom, I do not have time for this, okay? I don't have time to discuss what I know we've discussed severally. But she is your father's choice for I you. Care. I do not care one bit. And for your information, Mother, I have found the woman I love. Oh, yes. Really? I have found Uloma. Yeah. Finally. Finally. <laughs> I thought I told her in explicit manner to stay away from you. Mom, she is my future wife. She has my unborn child. Child or no child, she can never be part of this family. Never. Mother, you see, I have respected you enough as my mother. And respect, they say, is reciprocal. Do not make me lose it. It will be funny. Hey, are you daring me? I am so happy, in fact. Mother, I am going to pop a bottle of champagne. My only brother is expecting a baby. He will soon become a father. Hey, you're very stupid. Mother. Father to whom? Father to who? A commoner? Hello? How are you feeling? Much better, as you can see. I'm glad you're, you're much better. Meet my, my kid sister. Rima. <laughs> Rima, of course, you know her already. Yes, I know her. <laughs> Greetings, my princess. Greetings to you, Loma. The chosen one. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, how, how are you feeling? As you can see, I'm, I'm fine. You sure you don't need anything? Maybe provision. Oh. Provision. So you find anyone provisions? Because I know I asked you, you said no. <laughs> okay. She's so beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. To find a place in your heart. To forgive my mother. I was homeless and helpless. I took to the streets because of what my uncles did to me. Believe me, I left you with all my heart. been searching for you all this while. Thank God I've seen you. I am now happy. I can die a happy woman. Forgive your mother. No. You are not Not after I had seen you. 
that after I have seen the woman who gave birth to me, I'm not going to die. I forgive you from my heart. Take your mind out of all forgiving me. My God bless. And protect you from me always. Desi. Desi. Mom. 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 Mommy. Oh, check, 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 check. Oh, Is she okay? Eh? She has come. But we have to move on. Your mother kept me in the dark all this while. I am sorry for everything. I am really sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive her. I know you can do that. I live alone in this whole house. I want you to move in with me. Your mother's last wish on her dying bed is for me to take proper care of you. And you know how good a father I can be to you. Please. Hmm. Thank you very much, sir. You have been a godsend to me. From the deepest part of my heart, God knows I really, really appreciate you, sir. But I just want to move on with my life. I do not wish to bother you, sir. Olama, how can you say that? Please, I just want you to move in with me. That is all I want. Loma, please stay with him. He's your late mother's husband. And he's a good man. Besides, I will soon be rounding up my NYSC. And I will leave the state. So please, stay with him.
How are you doing this? I'm good, I'm fine. That's fine. How was work today? No problem. And who okay, is she? Hello, ma. Ah, this is my wife, this. Good evening, ma. This, this is Oloma. She's going to be staying with us for the meantime. Andrew, what kind of a man are you? How could you get a housemaid without my consent? What is your problem? No, Oloma is not a house head. She needs accommodation. And this house is very big and empty. I thought it wise to ask her to come and stay with us. Andrew, must you always remind me of my inability to give you a child? Oh, this house is big and empty. Empty of children, right? That is what you mean. That is not what I mean. Then tell me what you mean. Tell me what you mean. Eh? How could you bring in a girl without telling me? Eh? Does that make you a good husband? Tell me, no, leave me. you to watch the way you do shots in the house. You are pregnant. And as such, you don't need to stress yourself unnecessarily. So I am strong. I can do them. It is okay. Just try to get enough rest. I am off to work. Okay, sir. Have a nice day at work. So, Andrew got a girl pregnant and brought her to this house as a maid. Young woman, what do you have with my husband? I am asking you, what do you have with my husband? Nothing, ma. I, I don't have anything with your husband, ma. Do not lie to me. I had everything. And who is responsible for that thing in your womb? Ma, 
I swear with my late mother's grave. I do not have anything with your husband. Fold my hand, sit back and watch you destroy a home that have taken me 18 years to build. Is that what you think? That you can come from nowhere with that thing in your womb to destroy my marriage? I will show you how I have spent my years in the streets and how I have suffered in the hands of faith before God brought me to this home. You will see what I will do to you. Oloma, do not lie to me. What happened while I was away? She is leaving this house today. Teresa, how could you, a woman who is believing God for the fruit of the womb, treat other women's children with so much wickedness? Andrew, I am not barren. That is not the case. I only ask you to treat this young girl with so much love. What love are you talking about? Please spare me that. Oloma is leaving this house this very minute, immediately. I have had enough from both of you. Oh, please. I do not have anywhere to go, please. Please don't send me away, please. I have nowhere to go to, please, ma'am. Please, I'm begging you, please. Does it look like I care? I don't care. If you like, have where to go. If you don't like, you can sleep under the bridge. I don't give a damn. Go upstairs, girl. Let us go to your room. You are going to put everything that belongs to you and out of this house now. No! Don't beg me! Get! I said get up! Let us go to your room for you to pick what belongs to you. Oh yeah! Get up! Oh yeah! Get up! Go, 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 go! Let us go. You are going to pack your things. Fate took me to my own mother. To be comforted. But she drew me out. <sighs> my own. Mother, to me, back into the street. She was so, she was so weak. I 
suffered in the hands of I. Looking thing. Oh. You gotta be humble. You think you can beat the finger that fed you? Really? You really want to play this game, huh? You really do want to play this game. Okay. Let's play it. Life is fluid. Changes permanent, nothing stays the same. While you can predict tomorrow, you cannot give what you do not have. Every action has its consequence. Your legs can take you places, but it's character that will keep you there. You husband snatcher. has its consequence your legs can take you places but it's character that will keep you there every action has its consequence and it's true nobody knows tomorrow slow it down cause nobody knows tomorrow oh yeah pride in your barrel in your paradise Makes you foolish In another man's world Oh yeah, yeah. Pride in your paradise My princess From the look on your face It appears you are heavy hearted What is the problem? I lost him you lost who? The prince. Father, the prince has left me to lick my wound. He chose that dainty shot made it over me. <laughs> Is that why you are low in spirit? As if you are losing hope in life? Now tell me, 
what did you do or what happened that um, he left you? Father, from what I have gathered so far, the prince is not worthy to be called royalty. His character, his behavior is totally unacceptable, Father. My daughter, if I tell you I understand what you're saying, I must be lying. Can you be more explicit so that I can understand you properly? Father, I don't want to continue with this whole thing anymore. The relationship between I and Afam, I'm really fed up. I just want to leave this country, this kingdom and find peace. I want to be able to nurse my wound. But I'm just so tired, I'm tired. My princess, don't worry, okay? Everything will be just fine. Right? Come here. Daddy. It's alright. Everything will be okay, okay? I think something we should explain on this palace. There's certainly something going on that I don't understand. Odora might be right, with which manner the princess definitely dashed herself into is not right with her. That's true. The look on her face shows that something is wrong somewhere. Maybe. Didn't you see how the almighty princess Clara dashed into the palace with her face lowered down? Azoka, what are you into? I'm just trying to say that something is wrong with her. That's all. Okay, let me give you the gist. What is the problem? Prince Afam mm -hmm. has finally found Oloma. Woo! Hey. 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 The prince has left the princess. He has succeeded. Right. Finally. He has left her for Oloma, our friend. Finally. <laughs> finally. Okay, now hear her exact words. Mm -hmm. The prince left me to lick my wound. Don't be only wound, though. Let me show you. Stop. You go for me. This and that. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. Oh, it's too much. You forgot to add something. What about Ugochi? Dress my beads. Mm -hmm. no Dress my hair. Buckle my shoe. <laughs> Azuka, go and look for my beard. Do this. Do that. Ah. It's too much. Eh? That girl, I'm so hmm. happy for us. Ah, I'm for happy Loma, for my, my dear good friend. Oh, Loma. I'm happy, happy. I'm happy for our friend. I'm happy for our friend. Hi! Don't that right. Mm -hmm. She's in a better place now. Yes, now. Oh. Huh. When the prince betrays his princess with her maiden, then royalty and custom are of no importance. I was stabbed by the one I thought was my husband. A farm has torn my heart apart. I have been humiliated and left to lick my own wound. I no longer walk about in my kingdom with my shoulders high as a princess. I feel so ashamed of myself. I have learned my lessons. Humility 
is a virtue. Princess, it appears you are ready to leave. Yes, Father. Let me give you a piece of advice. Oh. oh, Father, don't worry. I have already advised myself. Hence, I shall be on my way now. Then wear a warm smile on your face. I don't want my daughter to travel to the city without a smile because you never can tell. <laughs> 
It's okay, Father. I'll be fine, okay? Are you sure? Very sure. <laughs> it's alright. Um, let me give you my blessing. May you go well. May the gods of our ancestors go with you. You see. It's alright. Thank you, Father. I love you. I'm going to miss you, Daddy. <laughs> It's all right. Greetings. What has your son done? Um, Igwe, um, please calm down. I, I told you that I will handle this. How could he? How could he abandon my daughter, the princess, for a common palace maid? What? What did you just say? This is desecration of royalty. Complete humiliation of my royal family. It is a 
accept. I won't take this. The princess left for the city? Unceremoniously. Um, uh, see, we can. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Nobody know us. Nobody get a destiny of another in hands. Nobody be God. Please consider before you decide. Oh. Remember, nobody has it all. Nobody knows it all. Oh, man, not be God. He hung up. Mother, what happened? The princess left for the city to start a new life. Unceremoniously. Good for her. You're happy, Auntie. You've won. Well, Mom, actually, I came for us to know how. Mom! My prince, you know, Mother just got a call that destabilized her. I think you should just give her some time to get over it. Please. Well, it's nothing to worry about, really. I wanted us to discuss on how we're going to pull Loma's bride prize. I know. Yeah. I am so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, I think she took the best decision instead of hanging around where she's not welcome. Exactly. That's good for her. I'm so happy for you. Let the body know they talk. Let the body know get a choice. Oh. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Be mindful what you wish for. But not because. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. My friends, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you, sis. Good evening, Mom. Where are you returning from? Mom, I just greeted you. Good evening. That's not a question. Where are you returning from? <sighs> Mom. The manner you're asking me this question is making me look like a child. Don't forget I'm the heir apparent to this throne. Okay, you should accord me some respect. Not until you tell me who the young pregnant woman you were seen today in the city, gallivanting all over the place with is. Mother, can you just talk? Mother, in case you have forgotten, Prince Afam is the next king of this kingdom. Shut up. So, you now, you now follow me around. You don't have a job anymore. Well, I saw you. Under the sun, under the rain, just call on my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Cause you've got You've got my heart, you've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands.
Under the sun, under the moon, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the season, just reach out for me, I'll be there. Alpha me for now. My stance still remains that you go to the city in search of the princess. Find her the way you found the gold digger. Bring her back to his super kingdom. Marry her. Make her your wife, your queen. That was your late father's wish. Over my dead body will I ever do it. Marry Princess Clark. Everybody know they talk. Let's watch. I don't know why mother is complicating the whole thing. That's fine. It's obvious she has no job right now. She follows me around. Why is fine? Mother. Mother, at this point, you have to let go. All I know is that Afam will never marry that daughter of a nobody. Never. Never. Mother, please, you really have to let go. If not, you end up giving yourself hypertension. I will not. I will not let go. My late husband will never forgive me if I should allow this. I will not. Mother, you sound so funny. As far as I know, the princess of Isubu Kingdom has moved on with her life. Mother, at this point, your only son's happiness should be your greatest priority, not a dead man's wish. Slap you again if you don't shut that thing you call him out. Mother, you slap me simply because I am saying the truth. Why go ahead and slap me? Slap me again. Slap me, mother. If you know. The meaning of face on the floor. <clears throat> I don't want to be furious. Don't tell me. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Be mindful what you wish for. So where do you want me to take you to? <sighs> I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Would you help me with my key in, inside the pigeonhole? But that's your key. No, like my 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 other key. Not not the car key. Okay. You've got my heart in your hands. Cause you've got my heart. You've got my heart, you've got my heart in your hands. Yeah. Love on me. Oh, love my man. Having searched my heart severally, you are just the right person for me. And I'm glad you said yes to me. 
to us. <laughs> okay, so <sighs> where are we headed? My prince, something tells me that both of you are here to tell me something. Come on, let's hear what you have to say. Uh, well, I must say that the, the something really told you, right? Yeah. Well, we are here to tell you that um, we are actually planning to, to get married. Yes, Uncle. <laughs> wow. That's really good. Thank you. I must tell you, this union is blessed right from the beginning. <laughs> you can say that again. You see, uh, Oloma is the woman after my heart. So, it's right to do the needful as soon as possible. I love to hear that. <laughs> I love to hear that. Thank you. But, Uncle, uh, there's a little problem. Which is? My mother. You know. Your mother? Yeah. What about? You know, she's after my, my father's dying wish. To marry Princess Clara? Exactly. Don't worry about that. I will visit her and talk to her. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is good. In fact, it calls for celebration. Let oh. me just get something for you. What would you like to take? <laughs> I'm coming. Thank, thank you. Hello, Mama. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Greetings, my queen. Tell the cook to get the list ready. Okay, my queen. happiest man on earth. She accepted my proposal. Have you found Clara? Mom, please. Do not be a joy killer. Alright? Come on, we need your consent, Mom. I will never consent to it. Why, Mom? Oloma has my child. All I need is your blessings. Read my lips. You can only marry that daughter of a nobody over my dead and buried body. Why, Mom? Why are you talking like this, though? Why? Look at you. I don't know how a blue blood got interwoven by a non-entity. That non-entity has my child. And our fate can never be intertwined. I have told you this severally, Mom. All I need is your blessings. This is the woman I love. Mom, mom, you don't have to be like this, really. Right. Uncle, please, I want you to come here. Come now if you can, please, come and talk to my mother. I would have been to the palace today, but I drove home straight from the hospital. Yes. Yeah. I have a hectic day. I was very, very tired. No problem. I promise you, I will be there first thing tomorrow morning. 
On my way to the hospital, I will branch. Do not worry. I don't know. She's insisting that I, I'm not going to marry a non-entity. Okay. But my prince, seriously, why did you not tell Her Majesty that uh, Oloma is my late wife's uh, daughter? Uh, yes. I think she will understand that uh, Oloma is not an orphan. Anyway, just try to calm the situation down. I will be there tomorrow morning. That's no problem. Please, Uncle, please. Please, I don't want to lose it. Come and talk to her. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Your Majesty. I have decided to give up the throne. Yes, you hit me clearly, Mom. If this is what royalty is all about, then I am no longer interested. <laughs> For me for now. You're threatening me, right? Now, leave my room before I lay a curse on you. Far from that, Mom. I just told you what I want. There's no going back on that. I don't want anything that will pose as a threat to Uloma and I. That includes the throne of Umuchu Kingdom. I am no longer interested, and that's fine now. Every woman must become a widow someday. My king, why are you sounding like this? I must answer this clarion call. My strength is leaving me. Make sure you take care of my children and my subjects. Also, make sure that our son Turned a good king. One more important thing. Do everything you can to make sure that our son, Afamifuna, marries the princess of Isubu Kingdom. To cement the relationship and business I have with Igwe Ugonabo. As my king, I will do everything in my power to say that your wish is granted. 
Eu vi. Eu vi. I can sit and watch my my late husband die wish not to be fulfilled. I can't be alive. I see a family funeral. The prince of Umoji not getting married to the princess of Isubu. No more that. We are not God. That is why he disposes after we propose. Mother, please, let Afamifuna follow him. No! No! Mother, no. I beg you. No. Let the body know they talk. No. Let the body know they talk. Careful what you wish for, yeah. Be mindful what you wish for. Ooh. I know be God, oh. I know be be God, oh. Careful what you wish for, yeah. Be careful what you wish for. Oh. Just to love Please. Please. Oh. It's okay. It's okay, mother. Nobody knows past. Nobody knows past. Nobody knows past. Nobody knows past. Nobody knows Speak. Queen Mother, I had a dream. About? About you, my queen. Yes, Queen Mother. What about the dream? Is dead. What? What did you just say? She drank poison. <laughs> she drank poison. <laughs> Where is her cause? Oh, my God. 
mother. As a maid, I know I'm not supposed to contribute in royal family. But because of the dream I had, please, Queen Mother, have a rethink. Please, my queen, allow the prince to follow his heart. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Please. I should go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, good mother. Let the body know they talk. Let the body know get the choice. Be careful what you wish for. Mindful what you wish for Ooh. I know be God oh. I know be, be God oh. Careful what you wish for yeah. Careful what you wish for Oh I Show some love oh. Go. I beg you. I I am sorry. to see my grandchild. I beg you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Do you want me to kneel? Please. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Sit with me. Even you. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I was so scared. I was so, so scared not to. Disobey my late husband. <sighs> the time is cursed. It's okay, Mom. You should me. think about the living. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> it's okay. <sighs> sorry. Under the sun. Under the rain, just call up my name, I'll be there. No matter the time, no matter the reason, 
Just reach out for me, I'll be there Cause you've got my heart You've got my heart You've got my heart in your hands Cause you've got my heart You've got my heart You've got my heart in your hands Love.